Welcome another edition of Smart Chat here on YouTube.com. Thank you for watching, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing. If you haven't done so, do so right now. Please. NBA video for you. I've been watching the, uh, the NBA. And honestly, it's... As an NBA fan, you appreciate the talent that you see. You see the, the Heat versus the Pacers. You see the Spurs versus the Thunder. And I did a NBA video not so long ago about the uh, Spurs and Pacers. And I'll be quite honest with you. As a fan, you appreciate the talent that you see. But you're a little bit disappointed as a um, Brooklyn Met fan. Because quite honestly, I thought that my team could have been in there. In it. I thought my team could have uh, defeated the Heat, which didn't happen. And uh, there's disappointment, not only for myself, uh, but also I'm sure one of the guys, for example, um, is disappointed is uh, Paul Pierce. I think that Paul Pierce joining the Brooklyn Nets would bring him closer to uh, winning one more ring before he ends his illustrious career. Now, as a free agent, I think, my opinion, it is um, highly unlikely that Paul Pierce um, will stick around with you know, effective role players hitting the free agency market. Um, and uh, with the possible retirement of his buddy Kevin Garnett. Although the Nets are, I think, without a doubt, maybe one could say the equivalent of the New York Yankees now as far as baseball there, they're willing to pay anything, I think. Well, not anything, but a, a substantial amount to keep um, the veteran small forward around then in fact if you think about it they're not the only team that might be in need of his services one team that uh, comes to mind you figure that uh, the Chicago Bulls would be interested in someone let's say a Paul Pierce um, assuming of course that they're able to sign Carmelo Anthony and the Chicago Bulls. So Paul Pierce's future is probably uncertain. Andre Korolenko's future is uncertain. Uh, as a Nets fan, and if you are the Nets, you probably it's safe to say the Nets have to explore options to uh, add debt uh, to your team to a small forward position. Now. Your Nets, and this is the question I pose to you as a Net fan: Would you bring back Vince Carter? Now, looking back in the 2013-2014 season, Carter averaged, uh, I think it was like around 12 points, three assists, four rebounds, and he transitioned. It seemed like from a superstar to a role player. Damn. How can you not forget Game 7? Game 7 of the 2001 Eastern Conference Final when he missed that jumper against the 76ers. Damn it. Damn it. But then again, um, what can you say? The man is a journey. Um, Hall of Famer, though he's not the dunker that he once was, can't argue that he's still an effective scorer and a facilitator. I think that would help the Brooklyn Nets make just one more, if not more, uh, deep playoff run. Um, 
to a championship. You have a core now of Joe Johnson, the Ron Williams, uh, and return of Brooke Lopez. Can't imagine Vince Carter won't be asked to do much. But when he's out on the court, I think he makes every minute count. What are your thoughts? I say, sign him. Sign Vince Carter for that debt. Hopefully, he's a lifelong Nat fan, back to the days of Draz and Petrowitz. Assuming we can't sign Pierce. Heck, why not even bring Carter, Carter here and worry about that combination, even if we keep Pierce down the road? Just saying. Let me know what your thoughts are on Vince Carter possibly going, coming to the Nets. Nets going after Vince Carter. Until next time, Net fans, NBA fans, adios over and out.